Farmchem we usually deal with uh, agrochemicals and uh, maize seed and vegetable seed. Of interest today here was uh, demonstration and, uh, on uh, use of herbicide in maize. Uh, we've been using, we have used uh, limas in Daikupa. And you, you can see there is, uh, the field is very clean. Uh, there was no digging, it was done. And uh, despite the fact that it is dry, uh, the maize is still green. That means there was no disturbance of the rooting system. So uh, we encourage, especially in areas where we, uh, that's why we recomm recommend the use of uh, uh, limazin. Uh, limazin uh, takes care of uh, both uh, broad-leaved and uh, um, narrow-leaved uh, grasses. Uh, but for daikupa, it's purely for broad-leaved uh, uh, weed control in uh, maize field and also in wheat and sometimes even in sugar cane. Uh, so from here now, we'll, uh, the next time you're coming here, we'll now come to assess the yield. We shall uh, now compare the plot that has been weeded uh, using the herbicide system and uh, the one that has been weeded using the, the manual herd system. Uh, see the, the yield difference and also see the, the cost because uh, weeding, weeding using hard uh, at least per acre is uh, 1,000 high barrel uh, per acre and then uh, in the case you, you, you weed twice that's around 3,000 but for daikupa 500 shillings plus uh, whoever is spraying 200 shillings so within uh, with 700 shillings you have weeded your acre comfortably within one hour so also the time factor because of uh, Farmers here in the central province, they have uh, other activities. So you have animals, there is uh, dairy animals, there is uh, uh, commercial keeping of uh, poultry. So you see that uh, we need uh, the farmer to take care of all this. So uh, once you save the, this labor, you can direct it to other uses uh, for more economic gain. Because like now the, way, the, way the weather is, if one crop fails, you can still be able to sustain yourself using another source of income. The agricultural service called for Agmac based here in Embu. We are here today to hold a field day with the farmers of Nebure to demonstrate the efficacy of using of herbicide. As you are aware in the current, uh, 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 this time that we are there, there is shortage of rubber because most of us are relying on rainfall leading to delayed weeding. But when you use uh, herbicides to get rid of the weeds, we do it in time and the, the crops don't need to be weeded. Like you can see where we are, the crops is, is up to this level has not been weeded and there is no even sign that it might need weeding any sooner. So here we collaborated with Farmcap. We used their products called uh, Daikupa and Rimazi. And as you can see, the, the maize is doing very well because despite the uh, extended uh, drought that we have had, this crop, because it has not been weeded, has not lost any moisture. Despite the fact that we have had a dry spell of almost one month, this crop is still doing very well because it has not been weeded, its root system has not been disturbed, so it has been able to conserve moisture and use the little that was in the soil. And you can uh, bear me witness that this farmer will harvest something enough to eat and also to sell. And that is what we are trying to teach these farmers who are gathered here today, to be able to use herbicides so that they can benefit from farming. Thank you. Tell us what you wanted to say. Okay, actually, this project, we are looking at the use of herbicides to small-scale farmers as well as the larger-scale farmers. The aim really is to save labor, at the same time to help the farmers clean up their gardens. There are so many benefits associated with the use of herbicides. As you might have seen in the plots, we have plots where farmers used herbicides and farmers weeded using their holes. One of the benefits is that when you use herbicides, it's not time consuming, you use very little time, 
and by doing that you save time at the same time you save labor because it's very easy you are just walking maybe you are singing while you are working you can weed a very big place of land within a short time so but what we really want is when they have saved that labor they have to use that labor in their home at the household level or community level for productive purposes not just to save labor and stay idle it means we are doing nothing at the same time as you might have been aware that this area has been hit with a dry spell. We have seen in the plots where we applied herbicides, the crop is still standing very well. And the, the crop with the herbicide applied is not wilting. But in the farmer's plots where they weeded using holes, the crops are wilting. The reason is, when you use a hole, you disturb the soil and there is evapotranspiration taking place from the plant as well as from direct from the soil. So you lose moisture. But when you use herbicides, because it's once and it takes time for you to come back, you conserve the moisture. So in one way or the other, we are also conserving the soil. That, that, that's the aim. Maybe my friend and has the, something and to uh, say. Something else is uh, when you use the the uh, the jembe on the hole, you also cut certain roots of the of, plant. of the plant, which it would necessarily use to mm -hmm. get moisture from the from the soil. So that is partly why, in the uh, hand weeded plot, mm -hmm. you see signs of wilting. Uh, besides what he has uh, uh, said about uh, disturbing the soil and uh, letting the soil release moisture to the, to the surface. Uh, as a CNFA Agmark, our main role is to bring uh, 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 the uh, farm input suppliers with the farmers together so that uh, they can learn from one another, they can, uh, farmers can get their supplies closer to, the farm, uh, to their farms and be able to purchase it and use it in their farm. And in uh, this uh, case, we brought them together for the purposes of the supply company and the local agro dealer, uh, demonstrating to the farmers how to use these products. And I think here, farmers have learned today that uh, through use of the herbicide, they can be able to uh, save labor and also improve on the productivity in their farms. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of this are twofold, to bring, uh, to provide linkage between the user of the product and the, and the supplier of the product, as well as uh, uh, knowledge, uh, learning uh, of farmers of how to use these products uh, uh, adequately. They mounted not with the aim of making a trial. They are not trials, but they are promotional demos want to promote the use of websites. Now, in our case, in this project, we are not promoting a specific company's products, but in general, we are calling all the companies to come together to share what products they have and they want to promote. So that's another thing that you must be aware of. This project is being run in two countries. In Malawi, we are doing the same thing. Here in Kenya, we are doing the same thing. Uh, I know Malawi as of now is not yet hit with the dry spell and we don't anticipate for that but Kenya has been hit but we have seen some positive results of using herbicides in the, such kind of situation. And we feel it is important as a ministry to have an input because as much as we want to preach to the farmer that maize farming is good, it is also important for the same farmer to know that at the end of the maize production we should have something so that it will be possible for him to have something on. It will be possible for him to have something that will bring in cash for catering for the cost of production and leave something for a bit of profit. Now, 